So recently I made a video responding to this person named Miss Breezy. They're like a YouTuber, I believe an animator or something like that. They're a brony. And uh, they recently were fired by Papa Meat or Meat Canyon. And they then made this like uh, stream on their channel where they talked about their supposed bad experience with Meat Canyon. So now in my video about this, uh, I basically said that she was ungrateful. Uh, she was a bad employee. She deserved to be fired. And then she, she tried to claim that a severance package that Papa Meat gave her at the end was basically hush money instead of him just being a nice guy and like being kind to this person who he was firing right and giving her a little bit of money because he knew she, maybe she was struggling financially and everybody seemed to basically agree with me um her insulting her replacement really shows how miserable and full of hate she is i don't want to burn bridges making a call-up video about getting fired is a great way to look like too much of a hassle to other potential employers congratulations you played yourself to summarize the issue she's upset that she didn't get paid for work she didn't do due to personal issues it's crazy that she started the exposed video by talking about an extremely valid response to fire her. Yeah, I had a drug problem and wasn't waking up to do my job. They were infinitely more patient with her than most employers would be if you did that. And that's very true. So honestly, her video was pretty bad. I think she deserves some of the pushback she got. And it seems like she's now unlisted or privated that. And she now has this new video called uh, Vindication. It looks like she does have the... Remove her violating YouTube's community guidelines. Huh. Huh. Remove her violating the guidelines. I wonder what that was specifically. I guess this is a re-upload somewhere. Yeah, this is a re-upload of it, but uh, she did make this video on her channel called Vindication or something, and supposedly she addresses me somehow in the video. I think she also addresses Meat Canyon, so I'm curious to see what she has to say. Maybe she'll clear up everything, okay? Maybe she'll bring it back around. Maybe she will prove once and for all that all the haters, all the haters need to shut up. She actually was on the right the entire time. Ah, it's Bree. I'm just gonna do this over mic because because I was out last night being the DD for New Year's stuff, so I kind of look like a disheveled little gremlin gargoyle. But uh, I wanted to make this to defend my honor and uh, vindicate myself, I guess, uh, because apparently drama YouTubers caught whiff of this stream, and I have learned new insults for being a I didn't even know existed before. So that has been a wild experience. I haven't watched the video because I'm a pussy and I'm scared and that I don't have the mental fortitude <laughs> to deal with that right now. <laughs> I'm sure they made some good points in response to the footage that I, I had up. I became aware of the video. Okay, I don't know if this person's really mentally well. They talked about the the transphobia, I guess. I did see some anti-trans stuff in the comment section. Um I don't know. I guess I just don't really care. Obviously, I'm not, I don't consider myself a transphobic person, but I don't, you know, I don't really control the audience. Um, I don't think that's cool. I don't think that's cool, but I don't really feel responsible for them. But uh, it's interesting to me that they, they read the comments with, I guess, some of the anti-trans stuff or something, but they didn't, uh, they didn't want to watch the actual video where there was none of that. And it was all just me like trying to make points about what they were saying. Oh, the thumbnail violating community guidelines. I think the thumbnail was like a, a gun or something in it. So that was probably why. But uh, yeah, once again, I mean, they, they had admit themselves in the last video they weren't really mentally stable so not really shocking to me but obviously as like a drama commentary channel when i hear about you know some former employee trying to like expose big youtuber guy i'm gonna want to talk about it right videos existence after you know the recent influx of wonderfully polite comments that i was getting on youtube and instagram which are like the only two platforms I, I use publicly. Anyway, I'm gonna make this quick so I'm not wasting anyone's time. I've been in this industry for quite a long time. I think I started YouTube professionally like 12 years ago. And I would hope at this stage, especially for the people who have known me for, you know, as long as I've been around or an extended period of time, that I would have credibility when it comes to really trying to be as honest as I can and having integrity when I'm in the public. What is up with this like weird like appeal to like appeal to the past appeal to your fans like if you're honest like just prove what your point or like it'll show like you it's not like it's like oh you know me you know i wouldn't lie you know i'm a good guy like i don't really know that though i don't i don't know miss breezy almost at all all i really know about them is like that they worked for papa meat and they made a bad video claiming that they you know were mistreated when in reality they mistreated their <laughs> employer ironically so i don't really know what this with this this little this little argument is but we'll, we'll keep watching we'll keep watching we'll give them a chance public eye and i hope that i also have garnered the same credibility for you know having no problem with admitting that i'm wrong i've done it plenty of times in the past and people seem to now oh. think that i'm only apt to the self-righteous route don't get me wrong we all get especially i i know that i am guilty of being self-righteous you know sometimes when it's arguments in internet comments or this and that but when it comes to like really having to sit down and analyze the situation from different perspectives i have no problem with being uh, honest about having 
effed up or being in the wrong here. So I don't want you guys to, to approach this thinking that I've, I had any malicious intent or was really trying to like ruin anybody's career. Because in the stream, I did say, I'm just ventilating. This is a stream being done in service of comments that I had received on, on YouTube and Instagram asking why I, I was let go. I also, I tried to make it abundantly clear that this- So here's the thing with that. You don't owe anyone an explanation ever. If, if you are um, working on something behind the scenes and you're a public figure and people want to know about it, you don't actually owe them anything unless they're directly paying you to get that done and get it out and you're making false promises but in this case you weren't you were just employed by someone who you then you were no longer employed by you could have just said i i just don't work for anymore creative differences you know boilerplate pr statement would have been fine you wanted to talk about it it's not because of comments asking you about it you wanted to tell this story like i get so many comments people asking me what about what happened to this video what happened to that video i ignore it because i don't owe anyone an explanation for anything okay like this weird parasocial thing like oh well a few people asked me like just ignore it just ignore it you didn't have to respond at all but i mean they kind of set up the beginning of the video like they uh talked about taking responsibility um for when they're wrong and you know being self-righteous from time to time so it's possible that they're actually going to own up up to their mistakes in this video and we can kind of walk away with a nice message this is coming straight from my side in that from a business perspective they had every right to fire me but there was an emotional factor to it like a, a business ethics thing that was never communicated to me and i was only left to stew in my emotions and the mystery uh, a good analogy to try and like brew the same emotions for other people is imagine if you showed up late for work once and the company policy says that they can fire you for that so they do they're not technically wrong for firing you for that reason however you watch your co-workers do the same thing before you were fired and all they ever got was a really tame warning this was the sort of vibe i got towards the latter portion of working with them and so there was obviously a lot of emotion behind the story i had to tell and this stream was so this specific thing i don't think was even communicated in their original stream um about you know i mean the the, the equivalent obviously that they're trying to draw without explicitly stating it is that like other people would hand in work really late or have a drug problem or have some other personal issues that lead to them not getting work done on time and they were fine but miss breezy was singled out for some nebulous reason that we can't figure out why. Um, I think that's what they're trying to imply, but they never said that in the original story, so I just am having a hard time understanding what they mean. Unless they're just using that example um, on the basis of, like, there was some emotion attached, in which case I don't think they needed that analogy, really. But, I mean, obviously, they I mean, they were emotional. That was very obvious during the original video. They were borderline. It seemed like crying at times. Um, they, they seemed pretty upset. Um, but also, I mean, I think that it's okay to say to someone that their feelings are invalid. And I think that Miss um, Breezy's feelings in this situation were definitely invalid, and I disagree with how she went about it. I disagree with the existence of her original stream. I disagree with her entitlement. I disagree with her poor work ethic. I mean, pretty much everything about it. But obviously, um, you know, she's responding again now. A means of catharsis. I will admit that it was irresponsible for me to leave that public, uh, for for me to make it public in the first place, only having really covered my perspective and not really having uh, communicated those opposing viewpoints as thoroughly and as clearly as I should have. And really that apology just goes out strictly for the audience because I may have, you know, played a role in misconstruing or ruining people's view of somebody that they enjoy. And I just, I don't, I don't want it to be like that. Like I had my conflict. Uh... But the thing is like, it's so, it's, it's so crazy to say this now because during the story you were even you, I think you called Meat Canyon a terrible person. You were saying like, it's crazy to realize how, you know, when you blow up on YouTube, sometimes egos will get big and you can slowly see someone change to be a terrible person. And I thought when I was working for Meat Canyon, that wouldn't happen. But then I watched him change. I watched him get, you know, too egotistical and too full of himself. And like, he was untouchable. I saw it on camera. You specifically said that. So obviously when you say things like that, people are going to come away. I mean, those who believe you anyway, which there's not a ton of them, but those people are going to come away with a probably negative opinion of Meat Canyon and a positive opinion of you. And they're going to feel like you're some kind of victim. Obviously, obviously, obviously. And I even stated in the stream, you know, I don't want anybody to be getting backlash for this. I don't want you guys to stop watching. This just doesn't make sense though. Like, I don't want people to get backlash. Well, then why the f like, the, what is even the point of addressing it publicly then? Like your, your stream chat or whatever, your YouTube audience, they're not your friends. 
you know they're they're your viewers they're like they're sort of customers in a way of your business not not in a way they are customers of your business right they're not your friends um and so i just don't get why you felt the need to emotionally vent to them other than to like raise awareness for your own story and 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 you know get the public talking about it um i don't i don't i don't honestly even believe your intentions here i think you wanted attention on the story i think you maybe thought it would be a bigger thing than it ended up being i think you wanted people to talk about it and i think you wanted meat canyon to maybe apologize to you or give you some kind of attention which you admitted you know you were kind of star for his attention towards the end there he wasn't really talking to you he wasn't being nice to you he wasn't messaging you about music when you wanted him to and so i think that's part of it um i don't buy this whole innocence you know i don't want anyone to get backlash like well but like when you make a public video on someone calling them a bad person like that is a natural not even byproduct like that's the direct result right obviously obviously it's gonna happen so this seems silly 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 billy behavior watching papa me uh i don't think i phrased it verbatim like that but i did say like nobody go you know harassing the papa me team or whatever they're still new they're still growing they're very very young in the youtube space so i take some of that like naivety from them into account however i'm not going to apologize for sharing my uh, personal <laughs> opinions on how i felt that their decision making lacked the fairness and compassion that i was led to believe that they would consider when i was brought on because i i told them like hey like I'm still going to be pursuing school alongside this. And it seemed like there was going to be a lot of leniency and a lot of understanding. And it just wasn't, it wasn't that way. So this says he should be friending you momentarily. His name is Mama Saya Mama. Sorry, Mama Say Mama. And if we get to that frequency, I'd love to do that. Also, if you're ever swamped with other stuff, just let us know. We can accommodate to not throw a bunch of work at you. And of course, any other complications or questions, just let us know. I want to make this as comfortable a gig as possible. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I was worried about the variables regarding my schoolwork being an issue. So I'm glad you guys are malleable with that. Um... I mean, I guess we can see that this DM exists, but without, you know, further details, without like literally every single message log from their interactions, how am I supposed to show if Meat Canyon really went back on this at any point? Um, yeah, I don't know. This is just one. This is just one DM. Uh, is this, is this like, is this the vindication? Is this one DM the vindication? I'm curious. So you don't have to agree with me. That's fine. Um, I think that I've been through enough professional workplaces. I think that I am at an age where I understand what I experienced was far from fair. How old is this person? Uh, they probably have a Wikitubia or something, right? That's pretty Wikitubia. 28! You're 28? Oh, jeez. Um, that leaves a lot more questions in my mind. I kind of thought this person might have been like 22 or something. It leaves a lot of questions in my mind, but it also kind of makes more sense now. Um, being 28 and making that video is crazy though. Or even being in the position this person's in. Like you need to get your, you need to get your swag seriously figured out, Miss Breezy. Okay, get your swag figured out. Turn it way up. But you guys are totally entitled to disagree with that. I really did not want this to get to that point point uh which can be i feel like a paradoxical statement because you know it's like i made it public so what was i expecting you know what's... exactly you made it public what were you expecting i'm glad they at least have the self-awareness to realize that they're not like a complete you know squirrel brain someone grabbed onto it and made it more public and so yeah no i shot myself in the foot there I, i'm not gonna lie anyway if you haven't noticed i'm not active on youtube this is not my intended career i pull in no money from it and i'm not trying to i'm not trying to use this controversy to drum up some views and make myself relevant please for the love of god if there's anything i have to beg of you it's that do not misconstrue it for that ultimately if there's anything i want anyone to take away from this it's future youtubers current youtubers current editors future editors anyone who could benefit from recognizing these patterns and recognizing like okay maybe i shouldn't be you know in a situation that's overworking me or whatever the multitude of different like bad behavior patterns that you can acknowledge to keep yourself out of the, a situation that i went through or having the better you know mental verbal tools to communicate that with your teams in the future okay i don't really care to get this person's advice on how to run a business honestly um at all at all like zero percent of me wants to know this person's advice frankly i think paying my editors uh acorns sticks of gum paper clips and ass hair is perfectly good and they seem happy with it okay because they're editing my videos every single day uh they don't even need to come out of the basement that often okay Okay, I mean, they can subsist off of one cup of water a day among three people. That is impressive. You know, not anyone can do that. Not anyone can do that. And clearly, Miss Breezy just doesn't have the work ethic to keep up with the turkey team. Embarrassing! 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 <laughs> I need the Max Ween. I, I need the Max Ween. Um... Hopefully, Miss Breezy can move on, you know, with, with this chapter of her life. It seems like she 
kind of half regrets making it public, but also doesn't. I don't, I don't even know what she thinks at this point. I don't think she's a very uh, informed, solid person at this point. I think she's just kind of floating in the wind, uncertain of where it's going to take her at any point in time. Um, Meat Canyon, as of now, has not responded to this at all, but uh, I assume he doesn't really feel the need to, considering, you know, how big his channel is um, and how small hers is. And now that the fact that her original stream is down, I mean, why even bother with it, you know, and he's got other things to worry about. He's got other videos to make. He's got uh, his own team of editors. And also, it's just kind of a bad look to have a bunch of drama with your editor, even if you're in the right. You know, it doesn't look good uh, to have a ton of your videos be about your employees or like ex-girlfriends or something like that. So it's probably for the best that he doesn't do that. Um, I wish him success in the future. I hope he does well. For Miss Breezy, you know, I know, I know I've been pretty mean to her. I'm going to keep being mean to her. That being said, I hope she can prosper in some other area of life that is not YouTube like she said she wants to do. I think that would probably be the best thing for her. But with that being said, leave a like if you like the video. Leave a dislike if you disliked it. Drop a comment down below with your thoughts. It's always good to hear what you guys have to say. And I'll catch you all in the next video which will be tomorrow. Bye. And be sure to become a member. For $5 a month, they get the members-only podcasts and exclusive videos that only members get. Thanks so much for your support. No